Welcome to Man That's Cooking. Today we're going to be making grilled habanero garlic wings. Oh yeah, this is hot. We're going to be working with five habanero peppers, a couple garlic cloves, we got our favorite Everglades heat, and some Frank's Red Hot, and Matooks. Now we got our man that's cooking here. He's wearing a glove. You should too. But if you're manly, don't forget to wash your hands after you cut these peppers. As you already know, or you might not know, our man that's cooking is an idiot and he touches his eyeballs right after chopping hot peppers every single time, without fail. It's like clockwork. So we've got him wearing a glove and uh, you should too. So we're gonna cut out the seeds. This is up to you. Depends on how hot you like stuff. But believe me, this is gonna be hot already. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a rough cut on these habaneros and put them in this little chopper here that we have. So in this chopper, we're going to be uh, putting the habaneros and our garlic cloves. So we're going to do a, uh, a rough cut on the garlic cloves. We don't need to uh, chop them up too much, just a little bit to help this chopper out. So ready to go. We're going to chop this up. Get into uh, some semi-fine pieces here. That's looking about good. And what we're gonna do is use a Ziploc bag, put our wings, we've got a pack of drums here, keep it nice and easy. We're gonna drop all the drums into the bag and add our ingredients. It's real simple. Once we have everything in the bag, we're gonna let it uh, marinate for 24 hours. Give it a nice, uh, nice, delicious hot flavor. So we're gonna add some Frank's Red Hot. This is a uh, buffalo sauce, buffalo wing sauce. And we're gonna represent Florida and add some Everglades heat. This is kind of a uh, salt pepper, you know, they don't tell you what's in it. Probably got some cayenne. We're also gonna add some Matooks. And this is a uh, Scotch Bonnet Picante sauce. And uh, if you have any trouble finding these at your store, all these things can be purchased on the internet. You can Google it, you can Amazon it, or you can come to our website, manthatscooking.com, and we'll help you find it. Lastly, what we're going to do is add about half to uh, three quarters of our chopped up habanero garlic mix. And we're going to save the rest for a sauce. Okay, so we're gonna make our sauce, which is the same mixture as we used for the uh, marinade. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna also let this sit overnight. We're gonna cover it in cellophane when it's put together. And we're gonna use this to roll around our wings in the sauce after we pull them off the grill. 
So you want to seal this Ziploc bag nice and tight and just kind of manipulate around all the chopped up pieces and make sure that the seasoning and such spreads around evenly. And after this is done, you're gonna put this bag in the refrigerator and just keep working it for a little bit. You wanna make sure that seasoning gets around all the pieces. And after you've had it in the refrigerator for about 12 hours, you wanna check on it and uh, do the same thing real quick. Mix it around, make sure everything's spread around evenly. We're gonna build our sauce here. We're gonna use some more Frank's Red Hot. Give it a nice buffalo flavor. We're gonna add some Matooks. Not too much Matooks, it's pretty hot. It's up to you and your judgment. All right, these bad boys are ready for the grill. And we've got it on a low heat. You can work it anywhere from low to medium, depending on how much time you've got. If you're uh, maybe cooking some fries in the oven, you want to time it right, depends on what you want to do. Time to take a look and flip these wings. Now they get a little sticky, so you gotta uh, be a little careful when you pick them up. You don't wanna force them off, otherwise you'll tear up a lot of meat. You can also try to grease the grill a little bit, but nah, that doesn't always work great. You know how it is. If you don't know, you'll know. Time for another flip. You can see they're starting to uh, get a nice color to them. Smell delicious. And when you're grilling these, you kind of take some of the heat away. That's why we made the sauce on the side. And of course, the sauce is optional. It's up to you. These are pretty hot. They're not as hot as a uh, Buffalo Wild Wings blazing, but uh, they definitely come in close, and they're gonna make you cry for your mommy to bring you a big, tall glass of milk. Now look at those wings. That looks delicious. That's just the right color, just the right doneness, and they're ready to go into the sauce. And that's just enough sauce, surprisingly enough, to, uh, coat all these wings and get them extra wet. Didn't really need to fill the bowl with sauce. This is the perfect amount. Stop on by manthatscooking.com where you can find our recipes. You can find the products that are used in these recipes in case you can't find them in your local grocery store. And also like and subscribe to our videos. And if you're a troll or a hater, go ahead and leave us some nasty comments. That's fine with us. Enjoy!